Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Extra special thanks to guest lecturer member Toby Gaffney. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there, Rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Rezard list that you saw me play earlier this week. Kind of. Um, I do kind of want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, the deck list that you see on screen here, excuse me, the deck list that you see on screen here is a um, more AO3 focused core um, than the one that you saw me actually play. And I'll get into kind of why I wanted to guys provide you guys this deck list um, because this was where I was already kind of at looking at what is the kind of starting place to build Rezard. And then I kind of tweaked it based on the fact that I found out Aaron was going to be playing Arla for the match. So quickly to talk about it, um, these are cards that didn't that got plain, um, but I don't think you necessarily need um, uh, or like things that you could do with the deck that I just didn't put in this core real quick. Calico Cat Shikigami, really great for sacrificial altar stuff, as well as being able to kind of protect your own stuff, like shuffle it back into your deck rather than get it RFG'd. Um, Dark Alice is the same kind of thing. It's designed to help you get stuff out of your hand into grave um, and potentially set up to be able to protect your graveyard as much as possible from RFG stuff. Sacrificial Altar and Sephiroth are really great Sigurd targets, but I know that not everyone has access to them and they do set up for some kind of crazy long complicated combo plays that not everyone's going to be super interested in. And to be honest, the deck doesn't have to have to be able to be fun. Um, but so those are just some things to consider and then if you want a really big reanimation target um that's kind of just like a catch-all you can play kusanagi mentoko play it in the deck uh and try to hit it off rezard to put it into play uh, but we aren't, aren't playing that for the sake of this list so like i said this is kind of just a basic um starting shell for rezard a ton of fun really focused on um kind of the new stuff he was provided along with some support that came from earlier sets so obviously we have rezard um being you know the modes to send two guys to the graveyard be able to bring a resonator back to your hand force beach player to banish a resonator um or you know judgment for zero one thing to note is that if you pick the modes to send to bring one back to your hand there's no like interruption in that and it doesn't target so you can send two strangers to the graveyard and then grab one of those two strangers and put it into your hand that's just important to note and then we have Rezard on our backside here. If it'll load, uh, he enters, puts the top four card into your graveyard, then put a resonator from among them into the field, make it a dark vampire in addition to everything else. Uh, and he's just a 10-10. So again, that's kind of where that Motoko comes into play. You can send it to hit it off the top four, and then suddenly you have it in your graveyard. And there's no like interaction when you're in the process of milling for and bringing something back to the field. Um, and then his god art is Blood Revolution, black green. For every vampire you control, starting with highest attack to lowest attack, each vampire gets to target something, and then when it resolves, um, vampires you control gain plus four plus four until the end of turn, then each of them deals damage equal to its attack to the chosen target. Um, so it does a lot of kind of crazy things. Um, it, there's just a lot of go a lot of things going on here. Um, and you get to kind of board wipe, but also buff up your vampires. It really sets up for a nice board clear during your opponent's turn to be able to push to your turn and be able to win the game that way. Stone base wise, uh, we're playing four Black Silence, uh, three Adarakia's Memoria, and three Gusting Skies. That was because we were playing with the white stuff. You could easily bump this to being two Gusting Skies, four Adarakia's Memoria, a, a black and a green stone instead of any white. You know, it's kind of based on how you want to tweak the deck. This is just kind of the stone lineup we were using while we were playing those white cards. And then quickly, the Stranger deck, uh, we're playing Shade because he can be brought back for a number of different reasons um, with uh, Mikage Seijiro's Game of Dreams, um, March of the Dead, lots of cool things that we can do with this to kind of trigger his like multiple times that we're going to be forcing your opponent to sacrifice stuff. Um, Black Wizard for some extra will production. Uh, Laurier, because with a March of the Dead, this can kind of be March of the Dead becomes a removal spell um, that also steals a resonator, um, kind of in a sense, which I think is pretty cool. Two Jabberwock, um, because I think it's a cool stranger in all honesty, um, and it's a nice little potential way to be able to board wipe, but also just maybe force your opponent to discard their hand. All in all, just a cool flavorful card, and I wanted to put it in there. But then the real heavy hitter of the stranger deck is Faust, because 
if you get both Fausts early, you can just kind of continue to recycle them over and over and over again. Every single time something dies, they just you'll get one or two of them back to field, um, and you can do a lot of cool stuff. So, going into the main deck, we play two Knight of Sigurd, um, just to be able to get another way to get stuff to the graveyard in case you don't have that Rhea. Not as selective, but it is pretty cool. Two Priestess of the Black City, these are ways to be able to really make use of those strangers that we're sending to the graveyard, like a Jabberwock in the grave, you could use Priestess to be able to cast it, or if it's Shade in the grave, you could use Priestess to be able to cast it. Um, you can do a lot of cool things with that. Two copies of Griffin, because it's an excellent target for both um, Powered of True Power, as well as uh, Rezard himself's Awakening um, Enter Effect. Three, Awakening of the Undead Lord. Not the greatest of the Awakening cards, but still provides a lot of utility. Um, being able to produce a token, uh, sack a bunch of stuff to draw cards if you need to refill your hand. Um, get that to uh mini damage to your opponent's board while also gaining a ton of life. Um, there's just a lot of cool things that you can do with it. Only two copies of Sigurd. Um, honestly, you could probably, in this version of the deck where we're not so dependent on trying to pull off the combo and stuff, you could probably play more just so that you always have access to it. So like hit a position where you just kind of wipe your opponent's board and then every single turn you're just casting multiple Sigurds from the graveyard over and over and over again. Um, so that's definitely something you can do because he himself also gains Bane. Um, so it's just a very cool card. Four copies of Faresia. She honestly is probably one of the heavy hitters of this deck because your hand is going to have a lot of... One, she's a discard outlet. Two, she has barrier. Three, she can pump herself up or other things up and also serve as removal. Um, and you have a lot of green-black cards in this deck, so you can do a lot of cool things with that. Two copies of Mikage Seijiro just to tack along with the vampires. It's really nice when you have her him with Rhea because Mikage will pay life at resolution of the effect. Um, you pet, you choose how much you're paying when the card effect is resolving. And then um, if when he deals that damage and Mikage's or Rhea's on board, you'll just gain all that life back. So you essentially can just steal something for free, uh, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Mikage Rhea, obviously the primary one drop of this deck, sends a lot of your stuff to the graveyard. You can recycle it in a lot of different ways. Um, main way to get a Sigurd or a Griffin or a part of True Power to the graveyard or even a Death Scythe early if you really want it. Um, Mikage Seijiro's Game of Dreams, a very, very fun and flashy game ender um, or, you know, setting up for really weird board states, uh, kind of as you saw in our match uh, with us having just a ton of resonators on both sides of the field. Obviously, the better, you know, the more flooded your field is versus, or your graveyard is versus your opponent, the better this card becomes. Um, but that's why we're only playing a couple copies. Two copies of March of the Dead. We have a lot of two drops and one drops. Um, and also things like Sigurd and stuff, as well as Shade. And, you know, there's just a lot of things that we can bring back with this card to get a lot of value. You could play three copies of it. Um, again, we're already at 41 cards. You kind of have to tool around with it. Four copies of Mona the Dead. An amazing card. Um to be able to spot remove stuff, especially as the game goes along and it helps you get more strangers to the grave. Not really much more to say about that. Three copies of a part of true power. Um, because it has a remnant, this is kind of six copies, but it's a really great way to be able to recycle a bunch of your stuff or get rid of things like Knight of Sigurd and turn them into something a lot more powerful. Uh, four copies of Death Scythe, as always. Three copies of End of Friendship. Um, also a great little removal card, gets around barrier, which is really nice. And then just so we have a couple of additions, um, a Niflheim, the Realm of the Dead. Um, this also just makes Sigurd a 10-10. So it's a 10-10 for two that you can just kind of keep recasting, which I think is pretty awesome. But that is the deck. I hope you guys like it. Let us know what your guys' thoughts are and how you would play Sigurd, um, Rezard in the comment section down below. And until next time, this has been DMO73 saying, Class Dismissed.